ha ha. I love that shit, dude. Cause I had never met a girl that I love in the whole wide world. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. All right, so when you hit, when you hold this button down right here, hold it down, you get into launch control. All right, when it first pops up, you got one dot. All right, that's 4,000 RPM. You use this rocker over here, and you hit it up one time. All right, now that's 6,000 RPM. So that's four, six, eight. It moves in 2,000 RPM increments, okay? So that's how you pick what RPM you want to launch at, all right? What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Dr. DV8, and I'm back today to talk about launch control on your Gen 3 Hayabusa and how you can put it into practice as safely as possible until you develop the, sk the skills needed to do this, all right? Now, I have some videos that I shot of me launching the bike at 4,000 RPM, 6,000 RPM, and 8,000 RPM. Now, the four and 6,000, pretty good, man. I felt pretty comfortable. Uh, the 8,000, a little hairy. When practicing launching your Gen 3 Hayabusa, or any motorcycle for that fact, let's get a few things out in the open, okay? First and foremost, it ain't nothing different than you've already done a million damn times, all right? So get that out of your head. Start, stop thinking like this is some kind of magical thing that you're learning, it's not. Every time you take off at a stop sign or a red light or from the gas station or from your house, it's the exact same principles at play just for a little bit different reason, all right? And what I mean by that is when you take off at a red light, all right, and you're at, you know, 1,000 RPM, 1,500 RPM, you're feathering that clutch out and, and you're taking off smoothly, mainly to keep the bike from stalling or something like that. When you're launching the bike on launch control, you know, the bike RPMs are already there. It's being held by the electronics or the computer. So now you're feathering the clutch to A, yes, not stall the bike if you're launching at 4,000 or 6,000 RPM, but also to keep the front end down. So think of it as a torque lever. You know, the faster you let out, the more torque you're putting to the rear tire, all right? And you control that with your clutch hand. Um, too much power to the rear tire will stand the bike up. Sorry, guys, it is muggy, muggy, muggy today. Uh, temperature great, it's just muggy. So when you take off, when you're launching a motorcycle, okay, I'm telling you, it's 70% clutch hand and 30% balls. That's what it takes to do it, okay? <laughs> now, what I mean by that is your clutch hand is everything. I mean, it is absolutely everything. And you've already kind of worked it and got it really good, guys, because you ride your bikes daily, right? So your clutch is pretty good. You can take off without stalling the bike and so on and so forth. So when you put it into the first launch mode, the lowest setting, it's 4,000 RPM on this motorcycle, okay? You just pin it and hold it. You don't have to do anything else, okay? The only thing you have to worry about now is just the clutch, all right? And you let that clutch out so you don't, you don't initially kill the bike, and then you let it out smooth enough that you don't let too much power too fast to the rear wheel and stand the bike up. That's it. That's all there is to it, okay? And like I said before, there are things that you can do to make this safer. And what I recommend is this. Go into your, your, your electronics, okay? Go into your electronics. Turn everything up on 10. What I mean by that is turn your traction control to 10, turn your lift control to 10, turn your quick shifter to 1, and your ABS is already what it is. So that's pretty much it. Just your lift control and your traction control. Turn them up to 10. Make sure your quick shifter is on one and put the bike in launch control and launch it. Uh, I got videos of me doing all this and I'll show you in the videos, okay? 
And what sparked me to make this video for you guys is another famous YouTuber. All of you know who he is. He went down and hung out with Chris Moore last weekend. You know, the one that goes, let's go, baby. That's right. Fastlane D. He went and did his first drag race, okay, on his H2. All right, guys. Here he goes. Now, he left a lot to be desired on that launch, okay? Um, honestly, what I think happened to him was he got into his own head, all right? He, he overthought the process. There was too much going on, you know, first time on the track, first time staging it. You know, Chris Moore was there. He was nervous. He was in his head, and it got the better of him. Um, if he could have just got into a zen moment and be like you know what i take off on this thing a hundred times a day if i do a quick it uh a quick it if i do a just a standard you know take off pretty quickly and get on it like i normally do everything's going to be fine you know but he was just rattled a little bit so fast lane d yeah keep practicing brother get out of your head you're going to figure out that this is something that you're, you're pretty used to and you're going to get better at it okay um but let's let's talk about the video all right now here i'm going to show you me launching at 4000 rpm here we go <laughs> ah, <laughs> i love that shit, dude all right that went well that felt very good actually that is a good place to start if you guys have gen 3 high bases get out there turn everything up like i said on your safety features and then launch it at 4000 rpm and just keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it get proficient with it okay it will get better all right then once you get really good at that let's up the ante a little bit let's go to 6k okay and by going to 6k all you're doing is going from one you know, mark to two hash marks on the display. And we're gonna look at that as well, so I'm gonna turn my bike on. And here's a video of me launching at 6K. So, 6,000 RPM. My God, I ain't gonna lie. It pulls like a fucking freight train with that 6,000 RPM launch. That's more than enough. Now, 6K fit really well, too. In fact, I'll tell you, 6K is about all you really need in the real world, especially out on the street. Uh, 6K will, will serve you well, trust me. It was fast. Uh, it left like a monster. Uh, yeah, it was very, very good. I, I wouldn't recommend really going any higher than 6K. 6K is very, very good. Um, now let's talk about doing uh, the setup on, on your electronics, okay? So I'm gonna bring you in here. One. All right, let's take a look at them, okay? So here's my A, okay? And you can see lift controls one, traction controls one. This is where I ride 90% of the time, all right? This is what I got it. Now, what I recommend to you guys is hit your mode button right here one time quick. Oop, I didn't save that. Here we go. Hit your mode button one time quick, and you highlight that. All right, now go up. Oop, go up to B, okay? And then hit mode again real quick, and you go to here. Turn this by hitting the rockers up and down, okay? Turn this up to 10. And then hit mode again. And do the same thing here, turn that up to 10. Hit mode again and you'll see it flash. Now it's set, there you go. When you're just starting out, I highly recommend you turn 
both of those two things up to 10. Make sure your quick shifter is in one, okay? Because that's the, the racing setting. Now, if you're at a track or something like that, okay, and you're waiting in line to, you know, have your turn to stage at the track, okay? Drag strip is what we're talking about. There's things you can do to make life easier for you, okay? So we're gonna pre-set up our launch control before we get there, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, guys, so this is how we pre-stage the launch control. Let's start the bike. All right, now, with the bike running, and you're waiting in line for your deal, what, what you wanna do to set it up is this. Hold this down. Okay, now you see it's got three bars. That's 8,000 RPM. We don't want that. So you're gonna use this. We're gonna back that down, okay? That's 4,000 up one. That is 6,000 up one. That is 8,000. So we're gonna go down to four. 4,000, okay? And then once you do that, hold this down again and it goes away. Now you're waiting in line, okay? You're just waiting in line, you get up there and it's time to go, right? Let me show you what happens. So, you hold this down, boom. Your settings are already there. They're already there. So you can preset this up before you get up to the starting line or the starting gate, okay? so. You know, go in there and set it to four, six, or eight, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you feel like launching at, all right? And then hold it down and, you know, turn it off. It will remember your last settings. So that way, when you get up there, you know, and you roll the bike forward and you get your first light, all right? You bring up your launch control, roll your throttle, get it pinning, roll forward till you get the second light, and you're good to go, okay? You, it's just less to think about. You're not sitting there out there trying to adjust it to get it to the right RPM. No, no. It's already set up. You're good to go. One less thing to think about, all right, when you're on the starting line. That is a cool trick uh, to do with, you know, pre-setting up your launch control. Now, here is a video of me launching at 8,000 RPM. Everything's on. My electronics are on. I'm at 8,000 launch. Whew, this is a lot of RPMs, guys. Here we go. Oh, the front end came up. Oh, the shift and dive on me. Okay, as you can tell from that video, things didn't go quite that well, okay? The bike popped up on the front end a little bit first and foremost, all right? Once I got it settled back down and got out of the clutch and really into the throttle, I shifted in a second and I had a quick shift malfunction, which means that the auto blipper didn't work and the whole bike just kind of fell on its face and then came right back up again real quick. Um, it was a really bad lag. It felt like a one and a half second, two second lag. It, it was pretty bad. Um, that's not something that I experience all the time. I've had felt it. I feel it maybe, believe, uh, excuse me, <laughs> can't talk. I feel it maybe once every 10 rides or something, the, the, the quick shifter or have that little, you know, I don't know what you call it, mishap with itself. But uh, for the most part, it's kind of non-existent. But when it does happen, I want you to be aware of it. And uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, now, when you're out practicing and you're launching your bike and you go to put it in launch control and it just flashes launch control at you, it looks like this. That's telling you that you can't enter launch control because the bike's too hot. Your components are too hot. Maybe your clutch, your oil, whatever. The bike's too hot. Um, best thing to do is either go somewhere, park, let the bike cool down, or go ride for a little while at some at, at speed go ride for a little while at speed and uh cool the bike back down um once you do that come back and you'll be able to re-go again launching your motorcycle i was able to do about five launches before it got too warm and wouldn't let me uh 
put it in launch control anymore. So just kind of a heads up on that. Your mileage may vary depending on your location and temperatures and stuff like that where you live or how high you're launching the bike in the RPM range. Be safe, you know, that's my number one goal is for you guys is to be safe. You know, we're all here to have fun and we're gonna have fun. And I want y'all to do it safely. Turn your electronics up. Lift control to 10, traction control to 10, quick shifter on one, and go practice launching with 4,000 RPMs. Get very good with it. Then bump up to 6,000 RPM. Get good with it. 8,000, just not needed on the street, guys. I'm telling you, I've launched this bike today at 6,000. There's no reason to go any higher. There's not much out there that can beat me launching this bike at 6,000 RPM. Uh, you're already in the power band of the bike, so I, I don't really see the need to go up to eight. Once you get good, okay, you can start backing your lift control and your traction controls down a little bit. Um, until the point that you're you're you feel like you're you're right on time where you need to be okay um you know, what i mean by that is when you hit the launch control the traction control it'll start flashing at you and it's going to cut the power of the bike and you're going to lose time and stuff like that um once you feel comfortable that you know you're ready to back these down a little bit and back them down a little at a time okay a little at a time until you find that comfortable zone okay guys so when you first start practicing like i said put it in 4000 which is the first line in launch control and pin it just pin it it's not going to go any higher okay just pin it that way when you do take off that's one less thing you have to worry about all right now all you have to worry about is just your clutch that's it, just the clutch. And guys, you've done this a million times. Every time you take off at a red light, every time you take off from a stop, you're using that clutch. It's the same damn principle, okay? At 4,000 RPM, it's the same principle. You take, you're letting it out to get the bike rolling as fast as you can without stalling it, okay? That's it, that's it. Just like you do every time you take off at a red light, all right? It is no different at 4,000 RPM launch. Now, when you get to 6,000, it's going to change a little bit. And what I mean by that is, now you're letting out, not only to take the bike off as fast as you can, okay, without stalling it, but stalling it is not that big of an issue at 6,000. Be honest with you, it's more about taking off as fast as you can and keeping the front end down. So you're using that clutch to keep that front end down until you can get all the way out, all right? That's that's more that becomes more the case at six and eight thousand RPM than stalling the engine, okay? Because if you stall that engine at six or eight thousand RPM, nine times out of ten you're gonna you're gonna loop the bike, you're gonna flip it over. You can't pop the clutch enough to stall it at eight thousand RPM. You're just not going to. Um, it, it's just gonna loop out on you. You're using the clutch to keep the front end down, and you're using the clutch to put as much work as you can to that rear tire without being too much that it picks the bike up that's what you're using your clutch hand for at that point okay and that's it guys so don't overthink it like i said you've done this a hundred times uh, it's just a little bit more exciting when you're launching the bike than when if you're taking off at a red light but it's the same damn principles all right fast lane d keep practicing brother <laughs> Keep practicing. You're going to get it down, man. Until next time, keep it upright, be safe, and uh, peace. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind.